Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today I'm going to talk about a few pieces from the Starry Night Collection. The Starry Night Collection was Selkie's first artist capsule collection. One of them, of course, was Starry Nights, Sunflowers, Skull of a Skeleton, the Venus print. This collection came out a while ago and most of the pieces aren't for sale anymore. Every once in a while, Selkie will do a restock. They recently restocked a couple of the Sunflowers prints, but a lot of the pieces are very hard to find. I was able to find two pieces from this collection secondhand. They are some of my favorite Selkie pieces now. So I'm gonna show you them today. I'm gonna make a plea to Selkie to re-release this entire collection because it's so beautiful. First, we have the Starry Night print in the Tea Rose dress. This is an extra, extra large, and I definitely could go one size down and it would be a little more snatched in the waist. This fits fine and I really love the way this dress looks. It is 100% cotton, so very breathable, very easy to wear. It's not too short, it's not too long. It's a midi length, which I really like. I love the sweetheart neckline. I love the sleeves. And I love the sleeve length, that it's not a super short cap sleeve because I feel like sometimes the elastic on those cuts me right where my arm is like the chunkiest. <laughs> it has pockets, which every dress should have pockets. There's shaping in the bust and at the waist. It's not my favorite design that Selkie does for two reasons. One of them is there are actual wires in the cups here and they move around. So you kind of have to fidget with it a little bit it almost feels like a like a bra that's ready to be thrown away. The other reason this is not my favorite silky design. I do think if there were a, just one more layer, so it were just two layers, um, I think that would make the dress come out and accentuate the waist a little bit more. Still, it's a very nice dress with the printed silky pieces. You never really know what you're going to get. They're a low waist company, which I appreciate, but it does mean the print placement is not exactly what you see when you look on the website at the product photos. I think the print placement on this dress that I have is beautiful. I think it's really gorgeous the whole way around. So in addition to the Starry Night Tea Rose, uh, Selkie also released a Starry Night print in its classic puff dress, a cotton day dress, which I believe they restocked recently and you might be able to still buy on the website. A hoodie, which I so wish they would come back with, a peony skirt, which is one of my favorite designs that Selkie has ever done. I hate that they're not really doing them anymore because I never managed to get one that fit me correctly. It is the most beautiful skirt I've probably ever seen. If there were just two items that I could ask for a restock for in this gorgeous print, it would be the hoodie pullover and the peony skirts. This is the mini day dress in the skull of a skeleton print. I absolutely love this print and I was desperate for it. So I'm wearing a 1X right now. I size up in the day dresses because I don't have the tiniest waist and they do cinch in the waist. I might be better suited to an extra, extra large in this one. The 1X fits me well enough and I love this print so much. I'm such a goth girl at heart, I guess. I find this one is maybe my easiest selkie piece to just go out in because the length is a perfect knee length. It is cotton, so again, super wearable. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. A lot of people say that the day dresses are their favorite of Selkies because of their just ease of wearability. I do prefer the mini day dress because I am shorter, I'm five foot four, so the longer day dresses tend to be longer than midi length on me, but not quite gown length, so they don't quite look right. I do get a lot of wear out of this one. Going back to the pattern placement, 
that does tend to be a problem with the day dresses because they're sort of sewn together in a number of panels. Like you can see a panel here, a panel here, a panel here. So some turn out better than others. I feel really lucky that this I think is beautiful. This is another one that Selkie released in the classic puff dress, a hooded pullover, and they had it in the romance novel design. I think the two most to die for pieces in this print are the romance novel gown and also the hooded pullover. It would be amazing if Selkie restocked those two items. I wanted to touch on dupes for a minute because I have noticed there are more dupes of the Starry Nights collection than a lot of the other Selkie collections. Not that there aren't just a whole lot of Selkie dupes because what they do is beautiful and it's also expensive. You certainly pay for the unique design and the quality that you get. Selkie doesn't restock them very often. It was for that reason alone that I couldn't get some of these prints anymore from Selkie that I tried to buy them on websites like Shein or Galartsy. Aside from the fact that duplicating somebody else's art is without integrity, I was never happy with any of the dupes. Even when they did fit, the material was, it didn't breathe. It almost felt like you were wearing plastic. It felt gross. <laughs> They weren't flattering, they didn't have the sewing quality or the structure that a silky dress has, they didn't cinch you in the right spots, they didn't puff out in the right spots, they just looked kind of blah. I don't recommend them and I won't be buying them anymore. I will just pray that Silky does more restocks from this collection. I will just keep my eyes out for more pieces on the secondhand market. If you have any pieces from the Starry Nights collection, any of the Van Gogh pieces, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to know which ones you have, how you style them, what you like about them, what you don't like about them. If you've had experiences with dupes, whether you're for them or against them, and talk soon. Thanks for watching.